<laughs> this is Jason Warbucks. This is Lenny. This is Shenny. This is your boy Steven, and you're now tuned into the Crystal Cast. What's going on, guys? We're bringing you this platform to bring you the perspective on what's going on in the world today. This is the Crystal Cast. Denise, what's going on, man? How you been? Uh, I've been good. I think like a lot of people, I've just been thinking through a lot of things based on what's going on around the world. Mm -hmm. Um, All the like police brutality, racial injustice, coronavirus, like there's a lot going on. So I think, yeah, just been thinking through a lot of different stuff. Trust me, how about you, Warbucks? What's going on? Well, other than feeling hotter than a mar- than a marshmallow in a campfire, um, yeah, a lot of the things just been going on of late with basically with the George Floyd movement, with the racial tensions going on to everybody. It's a lot to sit down and ingest. It is, it is, it is, it is, and that's kind of my bad, Shani, and that's kind of why we kind of built this podcast. You know, what I mean, this 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 is a platform that we're about to discuss anything. Whether it's gonna hurt somebody, wait, it may hurt somebody, it may not, but we're here to just speak, speak facts and just keep it real. How about you, yeah, Shani? You know what's, what's going on in your mind? I just think for the first time ever, the whole world has time to listen because mm-hmm. coronavirus came and it kind of shut down everything. Like you couldn't go to concerts, you couldn't be at parks. Like work wise, you were a lot of people were working from home if you're not an essential worker. So you have a lot of time to sit there and see what's actually going on in the world. Mm-hmm. And I think that sparked what's now been the most historical movement in the world. And I, yeah, I really believe that it stems from everybody just being able to stand still and see what's visibly been happening around them all, all along. Exactly. And the thing is, there's a lot of people saying, a lot of people I know, I have family in the States and I obviously have family here too. And they're saying like, oh, like, you guys don't get it as bad as we do over here. You know what I mean? Like, what do you guys, what do you guys feel about it, of that? Like, like, this, like, no. like, like Canada, because obviously we're, we're from Canada against, like, the U.S. Like, how do you feel? I kind of disagree on that point because the, the U.S. usually sometimes radicalizes a bit more, but still being a person of color up here, especially a young black male, yeah. there's been times I've been persecuted for absolutely no reason. Yeah. And they just make it seem like they don't do it up here, but it still it happens. happens up here. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's not televised as much as it is in the states, and that's why I think people de- um, diminish it over here. Like it's not as bad, but yeah, if it's exactly. still happening, it's bad in general. So I don't get that. Most exactly right. That's true. I, I don't. It's so hard for me sometimes comparing Canada and the states like to say which one is worse it's just yeah. so different like i feel in the states it's a lot more explicit like mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. i'm rolling down the street and like a random person could just you know pop out of yeah. nowhere it's true. It's crazy. Feel like especially like not even comparing the police brutality but let's just say racism from the general public Right. I feel like mm-hmm. it's really explicit in the states, like mm-hmm. people marching around with Confederate yeah. flags or with their like AK forty seven to their back, like say something. Yeah. And they're ready to say whatever. You know what I mean, like there's no filter at all. Like, they're ready to nothing. say. Whatever. Plus, you can purchase you guns at Walmart over there, so like they're ready to pop off. Whatever. I feel, I feel like at any moment. The only difference I feel like with the states in here, it's more brazen. It's more blatant. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. here. People will mm-hmm. probably be racist, but like they'll still shake your hand and say like "yo hi" and things. But over there, if they don't like you, it's like, "yo, I'm no, gonna, they don't like you. you're yeah. gonna know I don't like you." You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. don't know. It's, I feel like that'd be like the only difference. But still, it's it happens here. I don't say I'm not saying it doesn't, but I feel like that would be the only difference because here a lot of people are more like passive with their racism. I guess that's the word. That's mm-hmm. a really good word. To a degree, it depends where you go though. Because imagine you go up north like Thunder Bay or all those spots yeah. where you don't see much people of color. Sure. They kind of act the same way that, that they true. do that is in the States, yeah. but not as much. But they kind of look... You imagine you walking through the town with like a friend of yours or another person of color. No, no. And you're walking through a small town. Yeah, funny story. Look like I went to Sudbury for a soccer tournament. Mm-hmm. And 
Well, my whole team was black. And, like, honestly, the whole team was, you know, obviously not, like, Caucasian. And just through the town, you can tell, like, all right, you know, like, yeah, it, we were we were the only people that were around us. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's crazy. It's, yeah. But, yeah um, I remember traveling, uh, like, to, like, Sault Ste. Marie and stuff for cross-country uh, competition. Right. And probably, like, half of the team was white and the other half was like various other cultures and most of the other cross-country teams were white and it was just so interesting seeing like walking through the town checking into the hotel just like the different ways that the people in the town would like look at our team versus Uh the yeah it was Mm -hmm. weird like if we weren't all in uniform like together Yeah, been a lot more nervous, you know. Exactly, no, exactly. Oh, yeah. that's exactly what I mean. Like, if we were playing a soccer game, it'd have been a different, it'd have been you know a whole different vibe, one hundred percent. I think yeah. it plays into what they're more blatant about it, whereas here they're more passive about it, and because yeah. they're more passive about it, I think we feel um, insecure a lot more because we don't know what you're thinking because you're not generally just stating it outright to us. Like, hey, yeah. we don't exactly. like you. Instead, you're smiling in our face. We're like. When are you going to stab us in the back? We're waiting. Yes. Right? It's the uncertainty <laughs> over here that we have to deal with. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That is true. And like I said, I think it was 100% because I've obviously been in contact with a lot of races, but I feel like it's more passive on that end because I feel like, because I've seen a lot of, you guys have probably seen a lot of Karen videos going around. Oh, I and love them. Yeah. I don't know. Well, so like, how do you guys, like, there's certain ones I feel like, those people had it way better than I would. You know what I mean? Like, what do you guys feel? Well, more of us gotta go first. Me and Shani's gotta calm down before you. Yeah. <laughs> I was feeling the same thing. Warbucks, take it away. Um, yeah. The Karen, the Karen movement, as we call it. Yes. It's interesting now because I'm also seeing them as the the Karens that say be upset about being called Karen. Right. They're the ones that don't call us Karen. You're derogatory towards us. But how do you think we feel about it? How do you think we feel all this time? Just because now, you know what it feels like if you have a label, right? Right. You don't feel good about it, right? <laughs> exactly. it's like, it's like we call you that because it's usually the Karens or the Susans or the Kates with their peacock hair causing the most issues. Wow. Man. That's good. So with peacock hair, the, the, I, like the, I like to speak to your manager. Oh, yeah. The fact. greatest. Wow. They're the one. Those are the characters. Yeah. I like to speak to I would like to speak to Oh, you're not I, supposed to be here. Oh. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> supposed to be where? Are you my are you my owner? No, don't tell me that. <laughs> Maybe we should have made Robux go first. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> we had that passion burning. Yo, you guys asked him to go first. Come on now. <laughs> but it's, it's real it's fact that I it, it's a fact that because I work in a sales spot where a lot of like a lot of women per se come, and when you don't tell them what they want, they puff up their chest and get mad. And I'm like, is it because I'm not going to serve you, or what's the mm-hmm. issue? And then they pull, well, I want to speak to your manager. I am the manager, so for yeah. the win, I was gonna snap too. <laughs> Oh, man. I think they just allow their own insecurities that they have amongst themselves mm-hmm. to, yeah. to be yep. because they've always had entitlement. They feel like they're able to get whatever they want because 400 years of slavery, they've been able to get whatever they want. And now friction, they don't know how to deal with just a little friction. Think about mm. being called Karen for like the last, let's just say three months and they can't handle yeah. it. They're freaking out. Well, you're boosting about three months, probably less than three months. I was, I was it's trying probably to get the benefit of the doubt. Know. You know, kind of, uh, oh, no. let's, let's say about let's three months. Say, yeah, let's, okay. Yeah, well, well. yeah. <laughs> and they can't handle the word Karen. Like, you guys can't handle Karen, but you be calling us all kind of different names in public and in private. Oh, right. So, and I, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say in public and in private. It's crazy. Yeah. You, you can handle a word for a name. Sorry, a name. You can handle a name. The Karens and Kens right now, but like they even created the actual whole been... act about it. You guys heard about the act in Minnesota? I think that they created. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. It's, mm-hmm. saw that it's on Karen TV. with yep. a C. Caution against racial exploited non emergencies. Well, wow, you're on it. Like, yeah, it has to be. Now, now you know. Yeah. They, 
they have literally a whole app now and they can be reprimanded for their care and ways. So good job. I give them a yeah. round of applause. You now made a statement for the world to know. <laughs> Facts. Yo, Billy, and ladies, before you answer, it's crazy. I saw um a post and um this lady was like, yo, being called Karen is um racist. Yeah. And I'm yeah. I'm like, yo, You're saying it's a racist term to them. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what are you guys talking about? And somebody's you named your kids Karen. <laughs> That could be your name for all I know. What do you mean? Yeah, that could be Karen. <laughs> what? There's Karens from name? all cultures. There's Spanish Karens. It's literally. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Too funny. There's all different types of Karens. Yeah, I know. Like, there's people trying to say, like, how Karen is analogous to the N word, like, in terms of, of offensiveness. And it's like, yeah. if there's two words, and you can say one of them in the sentence, and you have to redact okay. the other one in the sentence. The other one's definitely worse. But definitely, worse. I'm gonna say hundred yeah. percent. So, so hold on. When our great great greats were out in the field mm-hmm. working, mm-hmm. get back to work, you Karen. You Karen? Yeah, <laughs> Karen was on the porch looking at right. us. Right. So how is that offensive to them? They never say. Yeah, they never say get back to work, Karen. Karen, what are you doing? Mm. Karen, stop climbing that tree. <laughs> First of all, Karen, yeah. as you said, it was a name. They didn't give us no name. We all had the same name. They didn't give us no name. Exactly. They called exactly. us Toby. Okay. Right? <laughs> they called us Toby. Right? Oh, yeah. yo, yo, yo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but even, even, even on that like aspect, like I feel like the states, you see a lot of more, like we were going on about the Karens, like you see a lot of more uh, a lot more videos mm-hmm. of that stuff going on yeah. than you see here. But the one who really was the tipping point, Amy Cooper, she's Canadian. Yep. She grew up. Yeah. What time was that again? The one oh, yeah. that was the same week in Floyd where she called it. Dog yes. walker. The one yeah, bird, bird watcher. Dog dog watcher. Bird watcher. Bird, bird watcher. watcher. Sorry. Is Canadian. That, that surprised me. That deeply surprised me that she was doing that. Did it? Mm. No, not really. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, that's his name. His name was Christian Cooper too. So it's funny that it, they were both Coopers. They they got yeah. the same grand great 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 great. great. Mm-hmm. So you were just mad at you. Some family. Dad daddy was asleep, or some dad is mom. Exactly. You were family. <laughs> you call yeah, family. I was just mad. That's your cousin. I was just more. I, I was just more mad. She just draped up the dog like that to be caught off. Yeah. Man, because. Poor dog. The, <laughs> the dog didn't no, deserve that. Got, yeah, there's a girl man. No, huh? The dog got taken away. Yeah, of course. They, lost got, dog. they gave the dog back after a couple weeks. Oh, they oh, got yeah. oh. oh okay. I bet it just so you mean to tell me they played another stunt to seem like they care? And that's in no, Canada. No comment. Wait, that's no, in Canada. No, yeah. confirm. no comment. Okay. Well, no, she lives she lives <laughs> she lives in the States now. Oh. But she's Mm-hmm. Here from Canada, went to Waterloo for her undergrad, okay. then moved to the States afterwards. Oh, interesting. It's crazy, crazy because like now a lot of them are, you know, Twitter is going crazy on that. You know, Twitter is finding these guys' addresses where they work. Like, yo, it's actually yeah. wild. I kind of don't agree with that because you don't need to go find these people. Because no, you don't. It's not gonna make any. It's not gonna make it any better. Mm-hmm. For you. No, it's not. Find you because you're racist. No, that's yeah, not that's for attention. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That is true. attention to more strike between us. Oh, you think where it's more of like people finding? Is? Oh, sorry, Lenise, go go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, where do you think the line is? Because I've seen like, yeah, yeah Twitter detectives mm-hmm. are next level. Like, give them a color and they got your whole life story. But I've seen them yeah. like, mm-hmm. where they like find their workplace and they're like at insert workplace here do you agree yeah with having and yeah the- staff, blah 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 and they lose their job then there's others where they're like this is their address this is where like whatever yeah. stuff. where do you guys feel like the border is? i feel like yo job 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 because yo honestly i wouldn't like i wouldn't want wish death on right. nobody because like at the end of the day like there's some crazy people at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. There's people that can move because, yo, there are people that come up on your house and, you know what I mean? Like, if, I've seen it happen. There's videos of people protesting and people surrounding their houses and stuff. That can get crazy yeah. It, yeah. to a certain extent. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I feel like the line would be like, yo, all right, you'll get them fired from their job or 
lose whatever business they have running right now. Like that'd be it for me, cause yo, I'm not wishing anybody's life and no badness on anyone. Still, mm-hmm. I, I agree with the job thing, cause you know mm-hmm. what? Yeah, that person could be a piece of shit. That's yeah. okay, but you don't need to go there and absolutely tear their life asunder. Right. They lose their job. They can be if they want to continue acting on that right. way to be that type and to harass people. That's on them. That's God will deal with them. Mm-hmm. But man does not need to act upon, upon God's behalf. Facts. So they exactly. don't don't have to go out there and every day because you're going to incite other people to be upset at you for doing that. Yeah. Because I'm just be like, oh well. This guy, you're gonna keep harassing him because of this. Well, you guys are no better, and it's just gonna the cycle's gonna keep going, and it's gonna keep being poisonous. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you want to hush him out. Say, you know what, this and this, cool, done. Don't need to make a big example unless he went, like the young boy that killed the people in the church. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He deserved to be an example. Yeah, he caused harm. Nah, facts. Anyone else that's sitting there and has that racist outburst, right? If they want to be like that, be like that. But you don't have to go there and. Completely tear like asunder. Yeah, that's just how I feel about it. Right. How are you? Shane? I think like I agree with you guys. I'm always gonna pose like a kind of like a devil's advocate to it. I feel like the yeah. people are so active about it. They need to take away the power that these people have. And I mean, if you can finance yourself, everybody knows if you can keep a roof over your head, then you're good, so to speak, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that's why they go after their jobs. I think that's why they go to their homes. I think they want to make them feel they don't continue with their actions. So that's why I think Twitter goes ham. And those Twitter detectives are amazing. I mean, give them literally an hour. Shoot, got the whole yearbook on display. <laughs> right? <laughs> nah, facts. They're pulling up baby pics. They're pulling up pics, pics. I'm like, holy. Yeah, they're pulling up things from like you probably did in grade two. Right? Like, well, how do you guys have the time? What is like, this? You have Honestly. all the time for this? Hmm. <laughs> Lenise, where do you draw the line? Uh, yeah, I, I think I, I agree with the job stuff. Um, because a lot of people are like, ooh, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. It's my right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean you have a freedom from consequences when you cause harm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, like, somebody does something racist, they get caught doing it. Mm-hmm. People on the internet bring that to the attention of their employers. I don't think there's a problem with that. The employers make their decision as they will, you know. Right. But having people like this who are in positions of leadership and, you know, that they're managing, who's it that they're hiring, who's it that they're firing, you know? Yeah. So I think I think it I think it makes sense when people go after their employment, especially employment. Yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. that's like, what if they have kids? You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Like, That's what I'm thinking. Like, like, their fourth grader didn't do something racist. The parents, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's true because, yeah, because you have to you have to understand they have a family too. Mm-hmm. And as much as as much as they be mean by doing that and affecting their family, you could spawn their son or daughter to be hate to do hate crimes when they're older. Right. You, right. you can you. You can plant the seed that's gonna mm-hmm. that the plant will grow from, and it could be bad. So leading on to that, you definitely think it, it's definitely taught a lot. I think oh, racism's taught. It's taught. Hundred percent. You're not. You can't be born racist because when you're born, you're, the most you want is the best of your mouth. Facts. You, you, you're, you, that's the most. That's the first thing you're going for. You're not like I don't like color people. <laughs> I'm more like someone want my ass. <laughs> and like even think about so, it you see kids like from young ages when they get together like i'll say like ages like two three they don't look at color and be like okay i can't hang with the black kids if you're a white child or i can't hang um with asians i can't they just see somebody to play with they just mm-hmm. see like as i say kids are like purest form they're of love because they just love on you regardless Regardless, it's the parents that are like, no, you can't play with Sue. Can't play with yeah, yeah, Sue's yeah. Asian yeah. and Asians are dirty. It's what the parents are telling the kid at that point, exactly. the kid has to, and the kid has to absorb it because they don't want to disrespect the parent. But I and at first, sorry, yeah, no, go go go. I was just gonna say, like at first they don't even notice the differences, but then you know eventually they do, mm-hmm. and 
but they don't see it as like a value thing. They're just curious, right? They're like, oh, well, I have friends who look different from me. How come yeah. mom, dad, whoever, guardian, like mm-hmm. it's different? How come so-and-so's hair is like this and mine is right. like that? So when you yeah. ask those questions, the way that they get answered is already starting to form those opinions and those thoughts. You know what I mean? Or the way, yeah. they, the way that they see their parents reacting to people who look you know, different, so, who are in different groups, the kids learn just by seeing it. You don't even have to see it, exactly. you know? That's true. Yo, they're very observant, you know? They're very, like, it's crazy. Very, very, very. They're sponges. Very, like, you'll, you'll say something and... And they'll, re- yeah, they'll repeat it. Yeah, exactly. So, 100%. So that goes- 100%, I feel like job, job, yeah, sorry, Shay. Job, I feel job is, like, the limit for me still. So. But, yeah, Shay, what are you saying? that goes, um, so I don't know if you guys know uh, Jane Elliott. She's a Ooh, I'm some a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she had no an experiment with children, which is why I think I love the experiment so much. Called the what is it? Blue eyes, brown eyes experiment. Blue eyes, brown eyes. Yes. So, yeah. If you guys like just like recapping it a little bit, pretty much the if you had um, brown eyes, you were inferior, and if you had blue eyes, you were superior. And mm-hmm. you could have, if you had blue eyes, you had five minutes extra at recess. You could drink from a certain water fountain, everything. And like that teaching right there within that little time frame. Like, so think about like how short that period must have been or that day had been. Yeah. Children with blue eyes felt so empowered. They were then talking bad about the children with brown eyes. And that is an eye color. You can't control your eye color. Nobody's in the belly like, all right, I choose green. No. Like, you know, you can't control it. So something out of your control, you're being... The way she captured that, it still holds effect. Like, there's a previous study talking about the effect yeah. that it holds with the children still to this day. Like, that's amazing mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's true. And uh, yeah. just to take that one step further, like, I love that experiment as well. Probably wouldn't pass ethics at this point, but, you know, that was a different time. Yeah. What, yeah. what I found super interesting is that the children who were put in the group that was, quote, unquote, inferior, their like test scores were lower. Mm-hmm. Their like reading skills were lower for that time, and then the next yeah. they switched it, um, so that the like inferior and superior groups were switched. Right, and then same thing. Their attitudes changed. They were like bullying each other on the schoolyard, and they redid the tests, and then the newly inferior group mm-hmm. their test was lower as well. So now we're able to see like, oh wow. It affects more than just, you know, how you feel about yourself. It has, like, very tangible effects on the work that you're able to do as well and how you learn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. I like that. I like that. I like that. No, nah, honestly, those experiences that Jane and like experience, she has a lot of different ones. Different ones. And she, she's definitely one out there that is, has been pushing for a long time. So She just believes in pushing. a human race, not... Like, there's only one race, the human race, not color. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. see color, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different side of it, no. And, like, the world would be a lot different with more allies like that. Like mm-hmm. that, 100%. And a lot of people that would, I guess, put their foot in our shoes, you know what I mean? Like, would step inside and say, yo, yo, that's really what's going on. Like, yo, you know what I mean? They see what's going on and they say, yo, boom, that's that's what's up. Let me, let me not, or let me try to be part of the change or like let me try to inform my friends let me try to inform my parents because right. i've seen a lot of you know, kids right now kids nowadays they're going in on their parents and they're recording and i'm just like yeah, that's that's honestly what you need because at the end of the day when you stop the the, the cycle that's that's what's needed when you break that's yeah when you break yeah. It. yeah when you break that cycle it's needed it's Seen the video, I'm like, yo, this poor girl. I'm like, yo, I hope she don't get in trouble after this, yo. <laughs> I'm like, yo, damn, yo. I hope she was standing up for it. She was standing up for it, for real. And that's what I'm saying. Like, they won't truly understand because, yo, you're not in, like, you know, the skin color, you're not, you're not black. You know what I mean? Like, you're not, you won't be able to fully understand unless you're in our shoes. And that's what a lot of people really need to do. So that's what I feel. Yeah. I agree with you. I think yeah, people are just afraid to, it kind of falls into like, what, um, Lenise, I knew you were talking about this and you, you did some like, what, White Fragility by Robin DiAngelo. It falls into a lot of that when it comes to white people. That's mm-hmm. like, yeah. 
I know you better. You want to talk on that? Because I know you you know that. Uh, yeah, I, I know. A yeah, bit, I know up. a bit of that. Um, well, well, before you jump in on that, you gotta plug in your medium. Um, so you know what I mean. You gotta let them know why you're. Yes, yes, my. Let them know. Yeah. So in the wake of the George Floyd murder and trying to think through all that, I published a post on Medium and it's called, what is it like to be black right now? Question mark, um, by me, Lenise L. Um, yeah, so if you wanna check that out, feel free. Yeah, no, I think that was a little piece. I shared it about probably 50 times. Huh, sick. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think one, one interesting thing that I got from the book, White Fragility, um, is just the fact that like the the stamina to talk about race isn't built up in people who are white because it's not like a huge part of their identity that they've had to talk about. Mm-hmm. Whereas mm-hmm. for us, it's like from a from an extremely young age, like three, four, our parents have to talk to us and be like, okay, you're different. Here's why. You here are the things you can't do in public. Here are the things you must do in public. You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's something exactly. that we, like, it has been ingrained in us. We have to think about it all the time. Um, but for people who are white, because they're kind of seen as the norm and as the standard in our society, they think that their experiences are just the norm. And so, the norm. yeah, it's like starting to talk about these things about race produces so much like anxiety which leads to defensiveness yeah. because it's like yeah. they just haven't had to build up that stamina over time facts exactly no, that's, 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 so that's, that's so real it's so true that's, that's, yeah it's real <laughs> it's so real because i i know a lot of people that yeah it's so real definitely so real yeah but yeah go check out that blog definitely one to, to go to go read upon <laughs> Yeah. What else you guys got? What else you guys got to share, man? Shout out to everyone that's tuned in on our podcast. It's first our first one. episode. Yeah, first one. Shout out of you. many. First one. <laughs> first of many. The perfect hacks. Don't even ask how we came up with that name. You will have a full episode on that name. Yes. Do not. not. Don't ask me to spell it. <laughs> don't ask me to spell it. I will give you some kind of haunted name. <laughs> I will give you some haunted name. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, for sure. But no, I gotta shout you guys for real because yo, know, we we came up with this with this within what I don't know, what, two three weeks. Well, two weeks, yeah. yeah. Two weeks, yeah. And you know, I felt like we needed to to at least bring something else to the forefront. I know everyone else here got something else that's going on, but um, I don't know. I say yo, why not try something else? Indulge into something new. We're all smart, intelligent. We all got our own perspective on life, you know what I mean? Well, I've got something going on. You when might I put be listening, it, you might be listening to this in COVID. You might not be listening to COVID. You might pick right. this up whenever. Well, and a lot of people I know that would rather listen than watch a lot of things too. So it'd be nice to put our ideas into different platforms like we are right now. So mm-hmm. I got to shout you guys for, you know, joining in and running this through. And, yo, know, let's just keep this pumping, you know. I'm I'm loving the vibes. I'm loving the vibes 100. Yeah. percent Today right. we discussed what white privilege, the, probably the the differences between um Canada and U.S. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Media coverage from um pretty much the media coverage from um, Canada and U.S. as well as we are from Canada, and pretty much like the the consequences and the the reverse race like the the the, the race reverse. So next week. I think we are pulling up. We're going to talk about what cancel culture. Is that what we? Yeah. That's what we're. Yeah. yeah. And also, I don't. That you guys is, should be able to like send in your your if you want us to talk about something, like just let us know and we'll put it on the yeah. list. Exactly. We'll Nobody. We'll cover it. We will cover it. We will cover it, and we will be posting this everywhere. So send us a DM. Send us a message. Send, comment. Like. Share. So we're trying to you know. Say it again, Walbrook. My bad. <laughs> no, I, mean, I said smoke signal if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send an emoji. <laughs> yeah, emojis. But yeah, 
as we leave, anyone, you know, someone, someone leave off with something because I know at least you might got something else to say. I, I said my piece. I don't know. I feel like we as a like as a community, we just gotta stick together yeah. and like continue to to hold each other down and continue to to like not even. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world that could stray from what's really. You know, the, the key focus and what's really going on in your heart or what's really going on, you know, what you feel is right. So, like, the the the, the focus and, like, the main the, the ability to, to stay on task and, like, you know, stay connected and stay true is, like, definitely necessary stuff. That's beautiful. That's the final message right there. All in all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Well, that's that's a big message. That is a big message, right? No, it's true. Like, man, I feel like it's, it can resonate to everybody. Man. You know what? I'm just going gonna, gonna to drop a quote to it, just to add to it. Yes, sir. Just because from, from <laughs> basically, it always seems impossible until it's done. Oh, facts. Wow. That's a perfect okay. And for that, basically, it, not, it, rem, it rem, resonates a lot, but it also, this is our first podcast. So... It basically always can seem impossible because there was times that we couldn't get together. It was scheduling and everything. It seemed impossible. Yep. Well, yep. Yeah, we got it done the first time. Yes. Precipicat. Just like the movement. Just like the movement that's going on right now. Can't, you know, you just got to keep pushing that. The Precipicax. I love that. Yo, Shani, say it again the one more time. Precipicats. <laughs> Thundercats? No. Precipicats. Oh, I'm going to Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, thank you for listening, guys. Yo, this is the first Pacax. We will be on next week. The cancer culture. Tune in, like, share. Peace out. Peace and love, people. Love you. Bye, y'all. Yeah, yo. This is Jason Warbucks. This is Lynn. This is Shiny. This is your boy Steven. And you're now tuned in to the, the Purse Cast. Purse.